Is Shorekeeper worth pulling? Can Shorekeeper replace Verena? Or is Verena still better than Shorekeeper? Before we answer this question, let's take a look at Shorekeeper's kit and some of the unmentioned disadvantages I found myself experiencing while I was using her. Shorekeeper's Resonance skill heals all party members upon casting and summons five butterflies that attacks the target. The damage from Shorekeeper's skill is not worth mentioning since most people would build HP on her. However, this instant heal cast has a slight downside to it which can also be experienced when playing by Z. When the animation is cancelled right as they cast a skill, the heal will not proc and it will enter cooldown. This may lead to undesirable situations during combat, especially when you need healing and are dealing with an aggressive boss. On the other hand, when the skill animation is cancelled on Verena, she still gains one Forte stack, which enables her to heal the team. There are three stages to Shorekeeper's ult. The first stage grants an HP regen effect. The second stage grants a crit rate buff based on Shorekeeper's energy regen. And the third stage grants a crit damage buff based on Shorekeeper's energy regen. However, the Resonator has to be within the ult range to receive the benefits. So off-field Resonators and on-field Resonators outside of the ult range will not be able to receive the buffs. In this current clip I am showing, notice how my off-field Resonators are not receiving any heals. Now in this next clip I'm showing, notice how my on-field Resonator is not receiving any heals while outside of the ult range. Since the ult is so large, exiting ult range will only become an issue when you are fighting bosses that move around a lot, or when your ult position is in one corner of the battlefield. Moving on, Shorekeeper has two types of intro skill. First type is the baby intro skill that restores a tiny amount of HP and deals a tiny amount of damage. You would never want to trigger the baby intro skill. Instead, you want the cool intro skill that heals a little bit more and more importantly deals guaranteed crit damage. Shorekeeper's outro skill grants two effects. First effect is 15% increase in damage. Second effect is interruption recovery, which is arguably the best effect since you can avoid getting sandbagged by aggressive bosses. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison for with and without Shorekeeper's outro. In my opinion, Shorekeeper's outro is easier to trigger because you only need to cast your skill, alt and basic attack to fill up the concerto energy. Triggering her cool intro skill can fill up her concerto more efficiently, but this step is not necessary since she herself can fill up her concerto pretty quickly by utilizing her forte circuit. In comparison, for Verena to fill up her concerto, you sometimes need to consume her forte stacks, which means that you need to be mid-air, leaving you with less iframes to deal with incoming attacks. In addition, Shorekeeper has stronger overall buffs compared to Verena. My Jinsi was able to deal 40,000 more damage on her Dragon Puke when I replaced Verena with Shorekeeper. Does that mean we can use Shorekeeper on every team? Yes and no. It depends on one thing, and that is your proficiency at dodging. Since most of the healing comes from Shorekeeper's ult, your Resonator has to be on field to receive the healing. And if your Resonator is low on HP, you need to dodge well while letting the HP regen do its work. This becomes even more apparent when dealing with end-game bosses that hit very hard, like the hologram bosses. You might even feel that Shorekeeper's healing is unable to keep up with the damage they dish out. In comparison, Verena can heal off-field Resonators with her Forte Circuit, which allows for a safer gameplay where you can swap out low HP Resonators for Verena and heal them up before redeploying them on field. Her heals are easily available just by consuming Forte stacks, which can be gained from every basic attack 5, resonance skill and intro skill. She can keep up to 4 stacks, which allows for a burst of healing whenever needed. Other than your skill issue limiting you, you can place her in just about any team. My current favorite team for Shorekeeper is Jinsi, Shorekeeper and GRG. The resonators on this team have very good synergy with each other, and the rotations are fairly simple to execute. Also, the quick concerto energy gain makes it easy to cast the incoming Resonator's intro skill, so you are always able to get stage 3 of Shorekeeper's ult and her cool intro skill. Thanks to the Fairy Tales finale event, it has also shown various other team comps that can work with Shorekeeper. Such teams are Encore, Shorekeeper, and Sanwa. Jian, Shorekeeper, and Mortefi. Kalcharo, Shorekeeper, and Yinlin. So is Shorekeeper worth pulling? Absolutely. Is Shorekeeper a must-pull? Not necessarily.
While Shorekeeper provides stronger buffs compared to Verena, her healing options are limited. Thus, I feel that if you are pulling Shorekeeper just for the buff she can provide for your team, you have to be very good at dodging attacks, especially those in the end game content. And if you want to pull her because she is waifu material, what are you waiting for? Welcome home, my Shorekeeper. Oh, ne. Tadaimasu.